Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am Justice, I am here with Terror Master, and we are here today for a very special and important reason. Uh, it is the day where we get to find out what is inside the Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel GX Midterm Paradox box. Did I get all the titles for that? Um, we, uh, we've avoided spoilers so far today, so we can look at the list together and give you our live and unfiltered reaction to every card in the box. Um, in order to uh, be able to react to each card individually, uh, we, as you can see, have tactically pulled up the uh, wiki page <laughs> uh, for the box here so that we can just scroll a little bit at a time and see one card at a time yes. uh, so we can react to each one individually. Obviously, some will be more important than others. I'm sure there's going to be some reprints. Those will not require much talking about, uh, but the more exciting ones we'll get to talk about uh, one at a time. Terramaster, are you excited? Are you ready? I am so ready. I've been waiting all day for this. You know how hard it was today at work, sitting there, ignoring Discord? Every time I got on my phone, I was, like, tempted to click Discord. But that's enough. That's enough. Let's go. Yep. Are you ready? Let's do it. All, all right. right. What's our first card in the, the box? first card is Elemental Hero oh. Bubble Man. A little secret rare Bubble Man, I guess. All right. So it's a reprint of Bubble Man. It's a secret rare. But uh, ending yeah. secret rare is kind of cool, right? Yeah. 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 For, for the, for the, I mean, for the we collectors, knew, it's something. We knew we were going to get a Bubble Man reprint. So, right, right. Like, all right, not much. Moving on, next card. Yeah, the next card. There. Is... All right, cool. All right, a hero lives secret rare. That is a reprint. Wait a minute. Lives before, right? A hero lives? No. Did Sir, this card that? is. Oh, a hero lives. I was thinking of a hero emerges. If you can turn oh, wait, we got a hero lives. We got a hero lives. Holy wait, that's shit. insane. Shit, dude, no way. I don't know. For some reason, in my head, I was thinking Hero Emerges. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, Reprint. I just had Reprint on the brain. But oh my god, wait, that's actually insane. Dude, holy sh- No, that's actually insane. What a card. Okay. Okay. Are you All ready? Right, I'm, I'm impressed. I didn't think we were going to get that, honestly. That, that card is played in advanced format hero decks that are competitive. Yeah, well, better. But yes. Yeah, I mean, that were- Anyway, all right, moving oh, on. That, that's awesome. Okay, that's awesome. All right, third card, Elements Hero Temp. Okay, okay. That's, oh uh, no way! Yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. All so right, known know. card. Uh, moving on. Yeah, that is also. I guess they're telling us all the secret rares first. Yeah, yeah. It looks like it's going in rarity order. I think is how they usually do it. That's so fair. Makes sense. All right. Drillroid secret rare. Drillroid okay. secret. Rare. Hell yeah! So uh, let's let's pull up the text. It's a new card. Um, again, uh, I think we've discussed this before on the channel. Um, this so. card destroys a defense position monster not by battle, so really good counter to DD Warrior Lady it would be the most common one in the meta right now. Yeah, or like any floaters if they're in defense. Right, yeah. So, you know, Giant Rat, Apprentice, all that. So uh, this card a lot of people wanted in the community, so that's cool, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a cool card. It's it's not like overpowered, but it no. has its potential uses. Not so, at all. Yeah, 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 I think it's good to have. Yeah, good sure. to have, indeed. So that's our first set. So it looks like Jaden got three secret rares, if that's the order. Uh, Cyrus got one so far. Let's keep going here. We've got uh, the Jumbo Drill, obviously. Oh, of course, of course. That is, of course, another new card, so we got to check it out as well. Even though it's not that special, it literally just a fusion with 3k that does piercing damage. Which is, you know, um, not problem-solving card text written out, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about that. All right, so yeah. most exciting card so far has been Hero Lives. Oh, for sure, easily. Yeah. Oh my god! All right, uh, next card is Water Dragon. Yes, yeah, Secret Rare Water Dragon. I'm ready. This card is going to look beautiful in Secret. Yes. Rare. All right. Yeah, it is. It's going to look amazing. All right. Uh, there should be. There should still be a lot of Secret Rares left. Let's go. Wait, what the hell? Dogoron the Mad Konami, I specifically said no more kaijus. They gave us. I'm actually not even familiar with this one. I'm not either. All right, <clears throat> let's read this. You can special summon this card from your hand. Your opponents feel by in attack position by attributing one monster they control. So you can't summon it in defense, which is cool because it's only got 1,200 defense. Um, if they if your opponent controls a kaiju monster, you can special summon this card from your hand in attack position. You can only control one kaiju monster. Once ready, you can move three kaiju cards from anywhere on the field, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Wait, are they literally giving us kaiju as an archetype? I doubt it. I this feels like a one-off to me. Uh, this feels okay. like a one-off. Yeah, I, do I, wanna, I, I, I don't think we're gonna get here. I do want to point out it is a dinosaur, so that I don't know yeah. if that means anything. Uh, uh, yeah, good question. If it's just to give us a dinosaur monster, I don't know. I we'll mean, technically, Bastion's Hydrogeton, which is dinosaur, so like that might have been right, you know, right. 
a thing. Yeah, well, yeah. We'll, 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 I, I doubt it's going to be a full thing. I think it's just going to be a one-off. Just that's an interesting. Uh, that's a yeah. That's a weird. Why give us another kaiju? We already have Santa Claus. Whatever. Because this one goes in attack position. I guess. Gate Guardian. The easiest to predict of all of these. Truly, truly. Yeah, so, you know, everybody knows Gate Guardian. Yeah, all right. It, the great effect where it doesn't do anything. Okay. Yep, yep. Effect monster. You know. <laughs> all right. Uh, next card. Sangha of the yeah. Thunder. Well, that makes it feel like the next two are Suishin and <laughs> I mean, yeah. And they'll have the same effect as this. Yes, right. they'll have the effect. Yep. Yep. Uh, all right. Uh, if it's, we're not going to click on sewage and Kazuyan, that's what it is. That is Kazuyan indeed. And sewage. Yeah. All, right. all right. Go next. Go next. Yeah. You were full roid yeah. fighter. Yeah. All right. Now, this was the card used to win the duel that this uh, box is based on. Mm -hmm. So there you go. It just combines attack points, it doesn't do much. Yeah, it's really not a very exciting card to be honest. No, it's it's not. We kind of it already with the guardian. It becomes huge. Yeah, I mean, very easy to predict as well, right? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, those are all the variant cards. Okay, so those are all the secret. Oh rares. my god, the skill cards are next in Wiki. Are, are they? Yeah, we have no, no ch ladies and gentlemen. This is the way it is. We have no choice. All right. Well, you, what we can do. Well, here's do the thing: skill cards. The names don't necessarily spoil much. So we could just quick scroll past them and go to the next set and then come back to the skills. If you all right, all right, I agree. We will come back to the skills because the yeah, names do not actually tell us anything. All right, Jaden Yuki deck is the next thing. Okay. Here we go. All right, let's see Jaden's deck. Jaden's deck includes the following: Elemental Hero. <laughs> oh wow! No way! <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, Elemental Hero oh. Berserker. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have predicted this? Yeah, all right, my only hope. Mm, 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 no, no, I got nothing. This is terrible. Yeah, Keep this going. is so far, so far not looking great. Um, Elemental Hero Clayman. Clayman, of course. Uh, yeah. Elemental Hero Sparkman. Wow, oh, man. my goodness. Okay, that is four. That we is called it. 20% <laughs> of Jane's deck is trash. Uh, it's just reprints. We called it. We oh called my it. God. We Goddess it. with the third eye. Holy. <laughs> How did we call all of this? We're, we're just really good at this. Worst case scenario so far. <laughs> guys. Outside lie. of a hero lives, yeah. yeah. It's been... Outside of the hero lives, it's pretty worst case here. Uh, winged Karibo, a reprint. That's yeah, great. Of course. Show me Winged Karibo level 10. That's got to be the next card. Come on. Dark yeah. Catapulter. It's a new card. Uh, yeah, but it's trash. Uh Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's really bad. It's super bad. Okay. It is a card Jaden used, but it's really bad. Moving on. Yep. Bubble Man? Yeah. Well, we knew that already because he was in the Secret Rares. Uh, Blade Edge? Oh, Blade Edge. Holy nice. Dude. Konami, is it all reprints in deck <laughs> Dark Catapulter? Deck O reprints. Why? What oh. the hell? This is like half his deck already. Well, oh my Wild god. Art. Stop. Wait. We knew it. We knew it. It's just so reprints you. Blaze, asshole. there, there's Blaze Man. Okay. Yeah. Well, we well we knew this, but yes, we, we, that we is knew a good this. One. But yeah, Blaze Man is, is a good one. To get. Yeah, it is. It's a good one. It's a polymerization plus foolish burial for elemental heroes. Yeah. Yeah. It's it could be worse. Uh, it could be worse. Oh my, oh god. my god. All right. Let's see something exciting. Please. Polymer oh, for polymerization. Yes. Finally, the card <laughs> that we needed in speed duels. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's only 8 cards left, Konami. You cannot screw the rest of this up. Please. Over half of this deck is reprints. Let's go. 8 Heated Heart. Okay, that's a new Call card. It. Called it. I said 8 Heated Heart was going to be in. Yeah. Ah, easy. easy so 500 play. attack points plus piercing damage for a monster. It's great. For one turn. Yeah. For one turn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's great. It's great. Uh, all right. Righteous Justice, a reprint. Okay. Nice. Every card is deck is a reprint. Love it. Hero there City! It there it is! Yes! <laughs> a hero lives in Hero City. I love it. Oh my god, that's great. Look, it's effective ignition like, whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, uh, any hero monster destroy a battle. We predicted this as well in our best case, so that's pretty good. All right, moving on. A hero lives. We could have never predicted this. No, no. I think it wasn't in our best case. No, it wasn't. It, out? it wasn't. We oh, took it out. We, we, actually we, said there was no way. we thought it was too good. 
Yeah, like I remember we had it in best case, mm-hmm. and I think we actually took apps were like, no, nah, it's too good. They're yeah, not we're like, no that. way. But yeah, we yeah. got it. I mean, the best target is Blaze Man, but you know, it's there. Yeah. All yeah. right. Uh, the Philosopher's Stone, really? Uh, yeah, this card's super weird and not very good. So, Wing Coribo in Graveyard, you pay half your life points, you add a poly, essentially, to your hand, and banish three copies of this card from your graveyard, and yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's technically a poly search, but a weird one. Yeah, this card's, like, in- kind of interesting, like, but not very good. No, it's not. It's trash. All right. Well, there's only a couple cards left for Jaden. Hero Signal reprint. Oh my god. Yay. Hero Ring? What is that? That's probably bad, isn't it? Gate attack. Target one warrior um, type monster with fifteen hundred or less attack. Cannot attack the target. Oh wow. Uh you know what I you know what I always said we need is more ways to stall in speed duels. So yeah, absolutely. Like, so this is like specifically how to stall with uh with weak warrior monsters. It's great. Awesome. Thanks, Konami. So so far, there's been two exciting cards. I'm glad. I'm glad this is this is what is happening right now. Oh, really? Hero counter attack. I actually don't know what that is. What is that? Yeah, that's probably also bad. How much hero monster you can do to battle your opponent? Chooses and reveals one random card from your hand. Devitz and elements of hero monster. You destroy one monster your opponent controls and special summon chosen monster. Eh, it's not terrible. That's but pretty myth. The requirement is is what makes it bad, right? Yeah, it's first you have to have your monster destroyed. It doesn't prevent it from being destroyed. It's still destroyed right, by right, battle. Right, exactly. Then so. a random card in your hand. And then if it's an e-hero monster, almost all of which are trash, by the way. Yes. Um, then you get to destroy your opponent's monster. When you could just, you know, play widespread ruin. Right. That's probably unplayable. Okay. Probably yeah. And, oh, yeah, now we get the extra deck. Yeah. Well, we knew Tempest. We knew Tempest. Uh, Electrum. Uh, Electrum. This was predicted. Okay. Yeah, we did predict this. This one's new, though. A- Avion, Burst, Clay, Bubble. Yeah, good luck with all that. This in, like, worst case, since it would be an excuse to reprint those four? Yes. We did. We are good at this. Yep. Shuffle it literally, it literally does this because it is an excuse to reprint. It literally doesn't do anything. Why? What's the point of this? What is the point of printing these cards? They don't impact anything. Oh, man. Wild Wingman! Oh, this is just... Oh, my God. I mean, at least it's back row removal on a monster. Yeah, with a discard. Yeah, but with a discard cost. And surely this list also came with the Banding Waking the Dragon, right? That, that was also included in the box. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, it should be included in the box, I think, yeah. Uh, Mariner? That's also bad. I feel like that's a really bad one. Yeah, it's Bubble Man and like? Avion. Ah, oh, Direct yeah, Attacker! Have- yeah, nice. It's what? Well, you have any face down cards in your spell and trap zone, it can attack directly. Yeah. I mean, four times direct attack isn't bad, but for being a fusion monster, it's very bad. It is very bad. All right. Uh, do we have a good fusion? No. Oh my oh, god. Master. Dude. No, yeah. Master Turbo is real. <laughs> uh, except, the, except no Miracle Fusion. Damn it, Konami. Yeah, that hurts a lot. Ah, uh, they Maybe. gave. So it, so they gave yeah. us a hero lives to turbo out the blaze man, but no miracle fusion to follow it up. Are you Maybe. serious? You don't know what the skills are yet. There could be miracle fusion skill. There could be. Yeah, fine. All right. We'll see. Nova Master is really it's good though. Nova Master gives plus hero lives gives me hope here. Yes. All, All right. right. So Jaden's deck is ninety percent trash. Yeah. <laughs> but we got a hero lives. Hero City and Nova Master. Nova Master. That's it, right? Everything else we're everything very else is, Yes. Yeah, yeah, everything else is really bad. But if you can somehow combine Blaze Man and Bubble Man with the, the old skill, right? We don't know the new skills yet, so I'm just going based off of that. Right. Those both get... Well, Bubble Man, it's situationally, but Blaze Man always does. Affects off the new skill. So I can't think of what other one you would use with Blaze Man. With the with that old skill, but uh, yeah. yeah, it's got to be just that. Unless Notably, there is no Stratos here. Yeah, no Stratos, no Prisma, which is which is what really hurts. Yeah, the, I the I was not really expecting Stratos. I had some hope for Prisma, but nope. All right, it's okay. Looks like uh, we have a Cyrus next. All right, 
I here we go. see so a lot of bad roid monsters. Yep, at least they won't be reprints. My oh boy. Uh, here we go. Cycroid! <laughs> Called it. Look at this normal monster. Look at this vanilla. Hell yeah. It can arm itself with training wheels. What a god. All right. Um, gyroid. Reprint. Oh, my God. Well, there, <laughs> never mind. Sorry if I'll be saying no reprint, I guess. Uh, yep. Two cards in. Got a reprint. Sounds good. All right. What's all next? Right. Steamroid. Yeah, we know. We know. We knew this was coming. Like, all of these roids, we, we know we're going to be Right. Here. I'm not even going to read through the effect because we already have. Just opening it for yeah. a second to give the viewers a chance to. Yeah, you pause the video if you want. Right. Also, be aware that your camera cuts is like right on top of the text when it. Oh, just... sorry. All right. Uh, I will scroll down. Uh, Drill Roid, we already saw it. Yep. Uh, UFO Roid, we yep. did not see this one. Roid fighter. Woo. Yeah. So yeah, there it is. Uh, disturbed by battle. Yeah, do the thing. It's a machine floater, but it is level six. So good luck yep. getting it out there. Yep, you're almost like, oh, machine floater. That's oh, it's a tribute summon. Ah, uh, it's a trick. But yeah, there, there's that. Uh, next up is mechanical hound. What is this? We did not predict this. When you have no cards in your hand, your opponent cannot activate. Oh my floodgate! Okay. <laughs> Hello, infernity support. Yeah. I joke. Um, yeah. Honestly, I don't think this card is very good. No, um, it's like, level it's only seven. While you're headless, and it's also a, a two tribute uh, twenty eight hundred. Like, yeah, it's it's not gonna. Uh, I, I don't see it impacting I, anything. I doubt it. Like, this is the kind of card that you're like. I hope we're right that it doesn't see play because if we're wrong and it actually becomes good, that's really bad. That is really bad. Yeah. Uh, so after destroying spellproof armor, they decided to uh, give us another spell card floodgate. Good job. Fantastic. Moving on. Uh, Express Roid! Hell yeah! So again, uh, just gonna show you what it does and move on. Uh, Ambulance Roid is, is next, maybe? Is Dude! Oh my god, god, I'm so good at this. You're so good at this. So yeah, again, take a look. Yep, and next one's rescue. Going. Call it rescue Roid's next. Submarine awesome. Roid! Ah! You failed. Ah. Close. Alright, again, uh, read that. It's a uh, I know part of it is cut off, but if this card is. is attacked or was attacked, that's what it says. Yeah. If yeah. this card attacked or was attacked. It's right. 800. You, you can't make it deal more damage unless you modify its original attack. Yeah. Lame. Lame, indeed. All right. Moving on to... Asteroid. Ah, oh, it's going to be on here for sure. Stealth. Oh, yeah. It's It's got to be. Here's another bad roid monster for you. Yep. All right. Yep. Look, it, it's uh, it's Amazonus uh, sword freaking sword. Uh, the the thing, but much worse. The one, the one that destroys back the sage. That's the one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, right, right, right. And uh, you have Chuckroid because it's totally going to destroy stuff by battle. Yeah, I mean, Megaroid City is surely either in the deck or a skilled and gives a two thousand attack and that it can destroy things. Yeah, hey, there's Rescue Roid. There and, and there's Rescue Roid, which Justice has been calling for a minute. I mean, this was expected. Uh, yeah, I didn't have much hope for the Roids archetype because they're not really good unless you get... They're their... all bad, pretty much. Wait! But oh, wait! Yeah, Yo, oh. hold on. Okay. You can tribute a machine monster, special summon a non-wind Roid monster from your deck, half your life points to banish a number of machine monsters from your graveyard, special summon from your extra deck, so this is good. Let's you summon a fusion monster without actually having to play the bad card that is polymerization. Ignoring summoning conditions is great. However, it does get destroyed in the end phase, so you better do it to win the game. Or uh, at least deal big damage, right? Yeah. Okay. So. I mean, this was honestly probably the best Roid we could have conceivably right. gotten. So, you know, box. a couple good cards in Jaden, a, a one good card in Cyrus so far. Let's yeah. keep going. A couple cards here, a couple cards there. What is weapon, weapon change? change? Oh, boy. 700 life points, target one warrior, machine monster, switch the current... Oh. Yeah. Why? It's so bad. Why would you pay life points for this? It's so bad. Why would you pay life points for shield and sword on one monster? I wouldn't play this card if it didn't have a cost, let alone actually having a cost. <sighs> it could say gain 700 life and switch the attack. I still wouldn't play it. <laughs> Agreed. Shield crush! Oh, yeah. Okay. It's it's, it's removal. Sort of. 
I'll take it. We we had this. We called this one. Yeah, we did. We did. We had it. Cool. 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 I like using it both face up and face down, so it's a little more flexible than normal in a cross out. It does destroy rather than banish, but like usually that doesn't matter for speed, no. right? Like, no, it usually doesn't. Nope. Uh Vehicroid Connection Zone. That is the uh, Vehicroid exclusive polymerization. It is. And uh it, it does artifacts and its effects cannot be negated. Uh surely that will be relevant here. Well, it actually, uh, wait, no, never mind. I was going to say the, the, the Mixroid, but the Mixroid does the summoning already, so, like... Right, no right, right. The point is, uh, can't be destroyed by card effects. Neat. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, that's kind of relevant. Uh, they can't shield crush it. Twist! Why? Good, our 12th printing of Twister. Fantastic. Why? Why? I don't, I don't understand why this is... They ran out of ideas for his deck, because as the same problem we had, there aren't enough cards to put into his uh, deck. Supercharge... Hey, Supercharge made it in! Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, this is... I mean, a trap pot of greed for the deck. A conditional trap pot of greed. Yeah, a battle trap pot of greed. A yeah, battle trap that does not actually do anything to your opponent. Yep. It's great. Yeah. All right, moving Ooh. on. Uh, Wonder Garage, this is really bad. Yep, we got that one on our list for sure. Yeah, we had that one on our list. So yeah, you just oh, from we? your from your hand, by the way. So you know, not even deck. Yeah. Uh, but again, this does combo with uh, the Megaroid City that will definitely either be a card or a skill. Uh, well, it's not a card because we're already done with spells. Oh uh, my so. good! No, they gave they gave us the trap. They gave us the Omni Gate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So every deck. Has like two good cards. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that, that's the trend here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so it's an Omni Gate as long as you have a Roid uh, Fusion Monster, and it also gets rid of all the cards from the same name from that deck. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, also has a graveyard effect, which is really nice. So yeah, yeah, this card's like legitimately good. It's just that Roids are so bad is what balances it out. Right. But this card itself is legitimately good. So with Mixer Roid. Now that we know we have that, if the field spell is a skill, then you could actually see this being played and being really good. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I, I can see some potential. Yeah. Have, there, yeah. Megaroid City has to be a skill, though. For sure. Megaroid City has to be a skill, though. All right. Steam Gyroid. Here are the fusion yeah. monsters. It's uh, a vanilla yeah. boy. Yeah. What? Yeah. Again, this is what bounces it out. Uh, Ambulance Rescue Roid is one of them. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Super Vehicle Jumbo Drill, we saw that. Yep. Ambulance Rescue Roid. Right. There it is. Yep. Uh, when it's destroyed by battle, or when, sorry, when a monster on your side of the field is destroyed by battle, you special summon it. And surely this will happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was really, really good and relevant. It definitely comes up all the time. Yeah, very, very common occurrence in Yu Gi Oh! Oh, we got Stealth Union. So this is, I think, from what we've seen so far, probably what you would want to try to summon with Mixeroid. Uh, uh, because it's it removal jump. for your opponent's monsters, right? Yeah. Hold down just a little bit. Huh? Hold down a little bit. You're oh, sorry. Okay. Oops. Yep. There you go. So yeah, this is, you would you would probably want to summon this with Mixeroid because it it does remove an opponent's monster by you know equipping it to itself. Yeah, the important part of Mixeroid, and I, I, we didn't really talk about this when we were talking about the card, mm -hmm. is that it means that to summon your fusions, you don't have to run all of the really bad roids to get them out. Correct. You yeah, can so run you run just don't. three of right. different ones, whatever you feel the best ones are. Correct. Um, and then just use Mixeroid for uh, right to summon it out. So if Droid is okay and Gyroid isn't bad, you could run like three Droid, one Gyroid, or something. And uh, well, Gyroid is actually Wind, I think, so not that one. But like, you could just run three Droid, right? For example, right? And then just well, you use... need more. It's the number of monsters you banish. That's the level of the fusion you can summon. Right. Okay. okay you need okay. you still need to run a fair number of of Roids, right. but you don't have to run necessarily say Express Roid. In Correct. Order to summon yeah, this yeah, thing yeah. yeah. To. I but so. you never would never run Express Roid, please, unless you are literally just memeing around, in which case that's fine. All right. Uh, next up, we have nothing. That's the deck. <laughs> There's nothing. All right, so over there. All right, so things we like in this list: Shield Crush is not bad. Shield Crush is not. Ah, yeah, it's Shield Crush is okay. Um, yeah. Mixeroid Call, obviously. Yeah, Call is huge, and Mixeroid is good. So okay, two and a half. Yeah, cards <laughs> <you like. laughs> yes, two and a half. Correct. So two cards from Jaden. 
Oh, Nova Master, three cards from Jaden. Yeah, three cards right. from Jaden. And, two and uh, a half from Cyrus. Two and a half from Cyrus. Let's see. That's the average is about three cards. All right, Passion. Let's see it. Let's let's see. Not just bonding H two O. Give me bonding H two O. Give me the good water dragon stuff. Come on, let's Please. go. Let's go. Cluster. All right. It begins Please. with Please. water yeah. dragon. What we know. Yeah, we knew that's be the first one. Let's go. Water Dragon Cluster is the next card. Come on. The next card is actually Heels on Ryu. We call this one. We knew this was coming. We knew they'd give us the vanilla boy. Come on. Uh, show me, show me Cluster. Show me Water Dragon support. This this means Dark Carbonet on Doe, doesn't it? Oh, Hydrogen the reprint. Uh, so the next cards are what? Oxygen. Excuse and, me, uh, sir. Excuse me, sir. This is wrong. What? This says Speed Duel debut on the wiki. Oh, okay. your, your camera's covering that. I can't oh, my camera is covering that. Yeah. No, so it is definitely a reprint. It uh, is 100% a reprint. Somebody might want to yeah, correct this. Yeah. Um, if you're watching and you have access to the wiki, please. Uh, Oxy, get on. Because, of course. Uh, yep. Yeah, card is Duotarian. Is that also a, a uh, debut? Oxy, get on is a debut. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Yeah. I mean, the effect is entirely irrelevant. Yes, um, completely. Uh, pro top direct pro tops. Okay, so that's what I said, right? They were just giving Bastion dinosaurs. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, this one's like a beater, but like it could go up to two k, but it's bad. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Exciting. Bastion has dinosaur cards. Jurak oh Iguanodon. Oh my! If this is the end of Water Dragon stuff, if there's there's oh my god, there's no cluster, is there? Uh, look, look, don't give up yet. Um, battle. You can just select one set card your opponent controls, return it to the hand. Woo! <laughs> it doesn't wow. even... Yeah, okay. So good. So bad. Just so bad. <laughs> Carbonet on. There it is. There's the thing. Okay. All right. So we were, we were correct in assuming that this was coming. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, this is where you get your heels on Ryu or Serpent Night Dragon, but don't get Serpent Night Dragon because the skill is nerfed to hell. Uh, yeah, that's 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 Carbonet on for you. Moving okay. on. I mean, so this is a good card to get. Um, yeah, no, it's 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 neat. I don't know if it'll be able to be or not, but it's a good card to get. At least. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, there's ah, so, the Mad Flame Kaiju is a Bastion card. Surely that's what I said. That's what yeah, I said. Yeah. They're giving they're doing dinosaur. Yeah, yeah dinosaur. Yep. Right, right, right. Uh, yes! Yes! Let's fucking go! What a yes. cluster! Yes! Yes! Oh my god. My only, oh my. only thing that upset me is that this is not also a secret rare. Oh, I know. I know. But whatever, man. We got Water Drag <laughs> Cluster. Okay, whatever. I know what my deck is. I don't even care. Whatever. Do I mean, I on? There it is! Obviously, we needed it. You want to search your bonding? Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Now give me D2O. Right. Give me the trap. That's not right. just H2O. That's just, right. Here we I'm go. So nervous. I'm actually so nervous. The moment of truth. Here we go. Oh, cool. That's a reprint, That's so we ignore it. Scroll of Bewitchment I saw is the next one, which is so bad. I think it it's is. just it's an equipment monster's attribute, I think. Yep. Oh my god. I guess we were. Wait, how do we not? How do we not? Worse. Yeah, we, we just missed. Yeah, we just... Yeah, this would have been in our worst case video for sure. I think we just missed this card. We just missed this card. We just didn't know it existed. Okay, well... Oh, that's terrible. Why would you give us that? All right. Oh I'm, like, so nervous right now. Please, bonding D2O, and I forget the name of the trap, but that was... <gasps> oh! They did it! Legendary Ocean is real! Congratulations, community! <laughs> I mean... We did it, right? We did it, Reddit, indeed. Holy shit. Ask and you shall receive sometimes, eh? All right, cool. Uh, wait, does this let Duoterion be normal summoned? That's kind of cool, right? Uh, yeah, it's level five, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's kind of cool. Let's confirm sure. real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Synergy, I see the synergy. All right. Uh, bonding yes. H2O. Oh, no. I don't care. I saw it. I saw it. I, I, saw I know. It. I know. I know. All right. Yeah, H2O, 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 H2O. We got D2O. Let's go. Cool. Yes. We got bonding. D2O. Now, this one is the one you want because this one yes. lets you tribute from your hand and summon the cluster. This one has a graveyard effect. Yes. This one is beautiful. This one recycles itself from your graveyard to your hand if they out your cluster. 
but they don't have to hide your cluster because your cluster tributes itself, making sure it puts itself in the graveyard to recycle your D2. Yes. yes. They actually gave us D2. Okay, good. Okay, why uh, Dragon is a deck. Right? Oh, it's my, it's my, it's my first deck. No, it's, it's, yeah, no, it's a deck. It's 100% a deck. The Heroes and Voids, I'm not sure, but Water Dragon is 100% a deck. So, hell yeah, I'm happy about that. It's my first deck coming out of this box. Yeah. For sure. Living, ooh, Living Fossil. Hey, we yeah, talked about this one, didn't we? Yes, we did. This is, this is one that I suggested, I told you about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So, yeah, you get a level 4 lower monster, you, and your graveyard, you special summon it, and equip it. It doesn't, oh, the effects are negated. Okay. Okay, yeah. so it's... And it was not attack and defense. And if Living Fossil destroyed, it banishes the monster. <laughs> so it's very nerfed for a lot of reasons. However, um, I, I still do see it being useful in certain situations. Um, yeah, there's times where... Like I, it's, don't, I don't think it's, you know, to be honest with you. Like Monarch fodder, Fusion fodder. Sure. It, there, there, there's things. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not a lot of things, but there's things. Okay. Yeah. It might, it, it, there, there might be uses for it. We'll see. <clears throat> All right. Uh, moving on to the next card. Curse Seal A! Oh, they did it! They did it! They did it! The Mad Labs Just gave did. us the Perma Spell Negator. So this well, is Magic if Jammer. if will never become popular again, yeah. this is going to every side deck. This is, this is the hard counter to not just Cyber Angels, but like any Ritual deck, right? Yeah. So even if they're playing Advanced Ritual Art, you're like, well, you can't do that anymore. So, yeah. yeah. Mm. And like, if something comes out where it's a deck is dependent on like polymerization or something, well, justice. Yes, I'm sorry. Why? This is gonna be excited against bonding D two O. Uh, that's fine. We got the trap. Hopefully. Ah, yeah. Surely, surely. Yeah. True. 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 Come on. Yo! Yes. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> what a dragon is insane. I actually got everything I wanted out of this Bastion deck. I'm so happy right now. Water Dragon is actually insane. What the hell? You don't even need a skill. It's just insane by itself. I'm so happy right now. Play your favorite generic skill. It doesn't matter. Guess what? Now you probably don't need... Now I don't think Curseal is the good side. Like you No, really it's not. No. It's... When you know have the trap? Uh -huh. Oh my god. This is insane. That's absurd. <laughs> Yes! We actually got every Water Dragon card I was looking for. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Alright, this box is a success. I don't even need to look at the rest of the list. No! I mean, honestly, like... With potential from a Hero Lives and Nova Master and then the insane Water Dragon full package... Yeah, no, this, yes. this, this box is a success. Yes. I love it. Alright, let's see what Paradox Brothers got. I, I bet you almost every card on here we've already predicted, but let's see. Yeah, probably. Gate Goggle! Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Labyrinth Wall! That's amazing! No uh. You're gonna tell me the like, Wall Shadow and Shadow Ghoul and Magical Labyrinth are gonna be in. Wait, what? We did it! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> we called it! <laughs> 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 There's no way. <laughs> I can't stop actually, I, I can't believe we actually predicted this. Oh my god. Uh by the way, I just want you to know translated, the original name translated is Murder Circus. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, Konami... Okay, there is 100% Konami employees in the Discord, right? It's gotta be. It's gotta be. <laughs> There's no way. Oh my god. Oh, uh, oh yes. We did it. <laughs> um, oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> this box is a success. I agree. <laughs> I agree, they did it. We we are we have arrived. Oh my god. Uh uh Jirai Gumo. Gumo. Yeah, Alright. How did we miss did we miss I think we missed this one. Wow. No, I think we just 
didn't feel was worth talking about. Yeah, I, guess I mean, it, it was one of the very few cards that they played. It doesn't so. matter. We missed the obvious one, but we got the unobvious clowns. We got so the clowns. Obviously, we know exactly what we're talking about, guys. Subscribe to this channel right here for all your accurate predictions. There's Shadow, Shadow Ghoul. Ghoul. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know it. Yeah, you, yeah. you hate it. It's unplayable. All right. Labyrinth and Wall Shadow are also going to be in here. Yeah, we know Sangha. We know Sangha. We know Kazujin. We know Suijin. Stone oh. statue of the Aztecs. Oh, that? no. Another burn card. Damn it, Konami. Why? <laughs> why would you do this? All right. Now show me Ojama Trio and final attack orders because that was a meme deck I played way back in the day. It was hilarious. Don't do that. <laughs> Stop. You get them the three of Java tokens. They Clown! Yes! We call this one too! Let's go! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all of the clowns are here for you. Oh my god. This is perfect. I love this. There's no way this could be. The only Stratos would make this better. Yeah. Kaiser Seahorse. Sure, that's that's uh, yeah, the double tribute light monster. Surely someone would try to play Blue Eyes and fail miserably. We already had this like a long time ago. Unshaven, Unshaven angler. angler is a reprint. Tribute. Yeah. Uh, Whirlwind Prodigy. So that's the wind one. So I want to point out Konami ran into exactly the same issue we did when trying to put together our list, which is, wow, Paradox Brothers did not play many cards ever. Well, I mean, we got to come up with something to give them. So they went in the biggest speed duel discord that exists. Yeah, well, this is specifically <laughs> to be able to tribute for... Right, right, right. No, I, I know. And that I'm talking about the clowns. I don't care about this yeah. stuff. Yes. They wait, they came into our Discord. Yep. They saw Lucas. They saw me call him clown and react to him with clown and reacts. And they were like, we done it. We figured it out. I w it is worth pointing out here that Paradox Brothers never played any clown cards. No, <laughs> no, no, they did not. Something that, like happened in the anime. No, no. This is this is a speed duel exclusive. Yeah, we got another reprint here, by the way. Yeah, it's all exchange. Uh, yeah, that makes sense because you're double tributes. Ah, Bury the mean? meteor crush. Give equip a monster and give yeah. it piercing. Equip a monster, give it piercing. Sure, whatever. Okay. Uh, moving on. Tribute doll, the reprint. Er... We saw that coming. Yeah. Double summon. Hey, we got double summon. Yeah, double summon's cool. Double summon's cute. Cool. You know, two normal summons. Oh, cute. Right. Yeah, well, it makes sense with the double tribute monsters, right? You normal right, summon right. the double tribute, then you double summon for your uh, get guardian. Yeah, piece. three card combo is surely good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially just to put out that enough judgment of Anubis. That's not a reprint. Which that is, is not a reprint. reprint. That is not a reprint, sir. No, man, whoever I is. Hard to see this, honestly. Right. Uh, when your opponent activates a spell card that would destroy a spell trap on the field, discard a card and negate it. If you do destroy it, then you can destroy one face up monster your opponent controls and inflict damage your opponent equal to it. Burn. Ah, that's a burn effect. Um, however, uh, uh, night beam stocks have never been lower. Truly, yeah. This uh, oh, and now we get Judgment of Anubis too. But it's only for spells, which is weird because, like, yeah, and it's only destroy. So, like, Cosmic is still fine. You cosmic is still fine. Cosmic. Yeah, play your Dust, play your Breaker. Yeah, it's just <laughs> night. It's just don't play Night Beam. Just don't, yeah, just literally don't play Night Beam. Yeah. Okay. Um, which, I guess which is also in this box. Labyrinth of Nightmare. Got to go with the clowns. Got to go with the clowns. All right, what are the odds that like? No, our video was put out too recently, right? I'm like, I'm just waiting for them being like, damn, we just don't know what to finish the Paradox Brothers deck with. And then they see our video and they're like, hey, get it in. Yes. I mean, maybe. You know, anything is possible. All right. Um, well, that's that's the four decks. Yep. All um, right. So we're on to the extra cards. Right? On to the extra right, cards. You want to talk about here? I don't. All right. Well, I'm going to point out the ones that are notable <laughs> to me for one reason or another. Stone Sash, the Aztecs is just a fun card. I don't think it's that good, but it's funny. Obviously, the clowns are hilarious. Yes, the clowns are like amazing. Yeah, uh, double summon is kind of a cool card, honestly. I don't know. I, I never thought it was all that. No, much. I mean, I'm not saying I think it's going to be like super competitive, but I think it can be fun. It can let you do some fun stuff that you couldn't do otherwise. Yeah, it's true. Okay. Um, and Judgment of Anubis is definitely notable. It is, but I think to, to me, it's, it's all it's all about the, the clown package here. Yeah. Where you get your you got your three clowns and your and your labyrinth of nightmare. Yep. That's the only thing I might I might ever actually play from this set. Uh from this deck, I mean, but we'll see. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. Other uh, non-skill cards. Let's go. We... 
Death's Koala. Koala. It's burned, baby. Why? Why are we doing this? Because right. it's Koala for Chumley. It's just, okay, whatever. Just uh, stop burning. Oh, well, you fools who thought Raging Cat was burned. You're about to see what actual burn looks like. Yeah, White Magician Pikaru for Bastion. I think I, I discussed this. We discussed this card, but we didn't add it in our predictions. Or did we? I don't know. Uh, 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 no, I was thinking of something else. No, I was thinking of Pikaru's uh, Circle of Enchantment, the trap. Never mind. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm stay on my face, 400 life points, uh, whatever. Yeah, it's not very exciting. All right. Keep going. Desmo oh, There's the anti-burn card. There it is. I want to oh. shout out Drake, who loves GOAT format. This is it. Yeah. All right. So if burn does become a problem, Des Wombat actually, like actual burn. For those of you who don't know what burn means, <laughs> it means effect damage. You. So, uh, yeah, if burn, actual burn becomes a problem, Des Wombat is a really good side card. And I think some decks even like main decked it, to be honest. So. You you cut out right, right as you were saying fools. I believe that's what you were saying. Yeah, so that was funny. It looked like the producer who doesn't exist was censoring you. <laughs> Justice was not cursing you guys out. No, I definitely called you fools. And I will continue to call you <laughs> fools if you call things that aren't burn burn because you're making yourself look foolish. Exactly. All uh, right. This Wombat's actually a really nice one. Wait, Frost I think I think this one's actually cute, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Frost and Flame Dragon's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So level six, uh, water and a dragon. Must be Shell Sound and Banshee, one fire, two water monsters. Yeah, no, Frost and, Frost and Flame Dragon is cute. Uh, discard, discard a card, card target a monster on the field, destroy it. Seems yeah. really good. Yeah, okay. that's kind of uh, It's not super easy to summon because you need a fire and two waters. <clears throat> no, but I like so, it. Seven. But like, yeah, it's a cool card. I like it. All right, good good job with this one. I'm the closest we we're going to get to Chaos Orc anytime soon. So <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. C Koala. I have never seen this one in my life. I'm not sure if I have. Target monster opponent your control, change the attack to, whoa, my. Oh, oh I like that. Other yeah. than this one. Okay. There, there, there's the catch. Okay. It was yeah. almost good, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, look at that art, though. The art is great. <clears throat> the art is great. Um, I guess you could play this with, like, the other koalas or even a giant rat. Giant rat's a beast, I'm pretty sure. So, um, uh, probably. That is yeah. a card. Stop stop encouraging giant rat, please. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just putting facts into the universe, sir. Lord Cloud the Storm Serpent. This is Loud Cloud. Oh, sorry. Damn it. I was going to say oh, that's. Oh, I actually don't know this <laughs> at all. I have no idea what this is. Oh, Gemini Monster. <clears throat> okay. Oh, never mind. Never mind. No, no, no. No, it's not. Yeah. Why just kidding. I, I don't know. I'm lying. Sorry. Banish a fire and a wind from your graveyard. You can use each of the effects once per turn. You can banish a fire from your grave. Target monster opponent controls, destroy it. And oh. then this attack equal to the Shadow original attack. Okay. Banish a wind monster from your grave. Target a card in your opponent's spell and trap zone and destroy it. Okay. Interesting. That's not bad. It's not yeah. bad. It starts with zero attack, though, so it the only way it's gaining attack is like through its own effect, probably. But I mean, if you can load up like volcanic shells in your graveyard, for example, right? Like that's a decent number of like monster removals. That first of all, you get volcanic shell to the grave somehow, which could be by discarding it to destroy a monster. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not exactly Fisher, but we are getting like some forms of removal, which are you know. Yeah, it's a, the art is cool too. I like the art. Yeah, no, the art is great. Yeah. All right. It's interesting. Uh, I just don't know the, uh, oh, uh, hello. I just don't know about the fire and wind combo. I'm not sure how you're gonna. Yeah, that off. seems that seems that does seem a little awkward and random. Hello, fifth hope. It's pot of avarice, but only four yep. um, elemental heroes. Wait, draw yep. three cards if you had no other cards. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's usually just pot of avarice, which is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's look, if right. the skill is good enough to make elemental heroes function early game then this is a very good one of late game card, in my opinion. So right. there's that, yeah. right? Uh, but there's still no Miracle Fusion, so I'm still pretty mad about that. Skills, skills, it'll be a skill. Surely, Copium. Uh, what is Disposable Learner Device? Do not remember what this card is. I know I've seen it, but I don't remember what it is. 200 attack uh, for each monster you gave your... This card is a greater send there from the field this turn. You can set this card with that. Oh, that's terrible. That's okay. terrible. All right, all right. Thanks for the filler card. Moving yep. on. Uh, there it is. Or anti burn. All right. <clears throat> okay. Two anti burn cards. Yeah, I think Wombat is definitely the better one, but like this is cool too. No, this this is very encouraging to get two two anti burn cards. Uh, UFO Roid Fighter. We knew that. Yep. 
I'm surprised that's not just in Cyrus's deck or Kate. Yeah, I, well, I guess neither of them can make it individually. Whatever. Right. Yeah. Uh, Necroid. Wait, why is it this not in Jaden's deck? I'm surprised it's not in Cyrus's deck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, yeah, sorry. Wait, so, all right, question. Does Mixeroid just say Roid Fusion? Technically, Mixeroid can summon this, right? We're going to have to look into that. <laughs> but uh, that is actually funny. <laughs> oh, no, it can't. It has to be Fusion Summon. Wait, but it says ignoring summoning conditions. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Mixeroid for Necroid Shaman. <laughs> Mixeroid for Necroid Shaman, baby. Um, but yeah, uh, this feels good until you read the last line, so not playing. Yeah, so just summon target monster, your opponent controls, destroy it, and then definitely don't do anything else afterwards. Yes, definitely, just chill. Yeah, yep. Your opponent will not read. Wait, that's it? That's it. Okay, it's, it's skill time. I, that's, I mean, that's like, uh, there's a couple, like, potential cards in there, and an anti-burn card, but like, it's really mad. Yeah. Um, just because some of the text gets cut off in the end of the screen, do you want to do this for the skills for dueling book? Just make sure we don't miss anything. Yes, agreed. All right, we're All going. Right, time to look at this. Let's go. We're going to dueling book. Are you ready? Uh, shout out to Tensei Patu for putting these up quickly. Yes. Uh, and to me for giving him most of the. Uh, oh my god, too. that's a lot of text. Oh okay. my god. Right, can I read? Can I read? This yes. is going to be. Is the only bash skill? There's two. There's, What's the other one called? I'm, I'm just going to make a prediction which one's the water dragon skill. Uh, under pressure. Oh, that's he was on Ryu. All right, wait. Uh, all right, go ahead. All right, do you want to? Oh read my it? God! Wait, no, never mind. It's mine. It's gonna. It's gonna help Water Dragon. Read it. Read it. <clears throat> Once per turn, you can place one counter on this card. Then apply the appropriate effect depending on the number of counters on this card. Wait. So if you place the counter, do you so, have so to do it's essentially on turn one. I'm reading it as it does one. On turn two, it does two. On turn three, it does three. Turn four, yeah. But four. what I'm saying is, do I have to use the effect? You can place one counter on this card, then apply the appropriate effect. So, if, like, my point you, is, if you place the counter, then it looks like you do. Because my problem with it is this: because you have to place your first counter, and then it says discard a dinosaur monster to add a dinosaur monster with a different attribute from your deck to your hand. What if I don't want to do that? I just can't put the first counter on my card. I guess not. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, two counters: normal summon a wind or water dinosaur monster from your hand. Okay. That's like that. uh, Oxy get on his wind, I'm pretty sure. So there's that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hydro get on, like, all oh, that's good. All right. Um, cool. Three. The names of all water dinosaur monsters you control become Hydro get on until the end of this turn. Then add a bonding H2O from your deck or give it to your hand. Why is it only bonding H2O? I'm not running that card. Wait a minute. I like that they don't have to get on, though. That is what? weird. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, four, remove all counters from this card, then change the attributes and types of all monster pro controls to fire pyro until this turn. Wait, that's insane. That's insane specifically for Oxy? Because, no. well, Water Dragon itself says the attack of all your opponent's fire monsters becomes zero. Oh, and Cluster negates their effects. Yes, and Cluster negates fire monsters. Wait, that's so good. The fourth's counter is why you want this. Yeah, that's actually so good. And turning their names into Hydrogadon is interesting, too. We'll have to... Uh, well, the rulings is what's weird about this one, though. Yeah, the question is, like, when I place the first counter, am I forced to discard a dino from my hand? Right. That's... That's what I want to know. That's going to be really important. All right. Are you ready? Oh, my God. That, oh, that That's really cool. That's so interesting. That is so... No, yeah, that's... That four, I think, is worth the first three being very meh. Yeah, the first well, the number two isn't even bad. Uh, to just, oh to yeah, just yeah. Get an extra normal summon. Extra of, no, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, whatever you want to summon. It's like that's not even bad. That's not even terrible. You're right. Yeah, the third is probably useless because I I doubt you even run bonding H two O honestly. Yeah. So I I yeah, I'm sure you would run bonding D two O and bonding D H O like so I don't even think you run H two O, but damn that fourth effect. That fourth, yeah, that fourth effect is like crazy. All right, the fourth effect is okay. I, just, I just negate your board this turn. Like, yep. Yeah. That that's pretty. Your cool. monsters okay. have no attack points and they have no effect. So good luck. Yep. All, All right, right. Cool. Paradox Bros, go for it. All right. Behold, Gate Guardian. If you control Suijin, Kazijin, or Sangha of the Thunder, it's only one. That's okay. good. You flip it over. Activate the skill during your main phase. Shuffle your entire hand during your main phase. Then add one level 11 monster from your deck right, to your hand. That's must have messed up the wording, right? That's got to say shuffle your entire hand into your deck. That's right, that's right. Yeah. 
Show your hands. Show your hands. Show your hands. Show your hands. Uh, yeah, 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 add a level of monster protection. And if you do, you can special summon up to two level seven monster redemption attributes in your deck and or graveyard. Attack depth zero, effects negated. So it's essentially if you have one for the cost of your whole hand, which isn't great, it yeah. gives you the ability to summon Gate Guardian. Uh, but there's more. If you control Gate Guardian, one of the following effect. Okay. Uh, what's for sure? Well, it's all face up on the field when it's card targeted uh, for an attack. You can, oh. It it's, gains the pieces effect. Okay, that's pretty underwhelming. That is pretty underwhelming. I was like, oh, cool, they're going to give it an effect. That's neat. But they just gave it the effect of the pieces. It's 3750 attack. What's attacking? Yeah, who's it? attacking Gay Guardian? Like, and if they are, I mean, I guess if like DD Warrior Lady tries to attack it or something, you're like, all right, but you take 3750 damage. Yeah, but like, eh. That's. Okay. Eh, I was hoping for something cooler when they said give it an effect. I was. Yeah, uh, I was excited to. Damn it, Konami. All right, uh, read the tag skill. All right, believe in your bro. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Once per turn, you can activate one of these skills based on the face of your control. If you control an E-Hero, discard a trap, then add a level 6 or level Roid monster from your graveyard to your hand. I I hate this already. Then you can destroy one monster your opponent controls whose attack is less than or equal to the added cards. Okay? If you control a Machine Roid-type monster, discard a spell, then special summon a level 6 or lower Machine Roid or E-Hero monster from your deck in defense position, but negate its effects. If you control one of each... Discard a card, then fusion summon a fusion monster using only Roid and E-Hero monsters you control. You can use each once per duel. I, I hate this because I, I, I can't see any sort of efficient deck that is using both E-Heroes and Roids. Me either. It's terrible. Unless it's like E-Heroes teching in like Gyroid and or Drillroid and like a Mergeroid call. And like everything else is E-Heroes, maybe? Yeah, but then you can never use the both effect, right? Uh, well, I mean, Gyroid is protected from battle once per turn, right? So, like, it might stick on your field, and then you summon an E-Hero, and then you have the both effect. Well, you can't. You can't fuse Gyroid with any Elemental Hero for anything we have. It oh. says and. Roid and Elemental Hero monsters, not or. Right. Uh, if you're someone using only... No, not necessarily. I don't, I, I'm not reading it that way. Oh, well... I'm, just, I'm reading it as you can't use anything other than... I don't think you're required to use both. I think that's just you can't use anything other than Roid or E-Hero Monsters. I, I think it's just forcing you to play your full Roid Fighter, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah I, I think this skill is bad. Yep. All right, Paradox Brother, like, looks like I'm getting all these. If you have no cards in your extra deck... Okay! Reveal, reveal one Gate Guardian, Suijin, Kalijin, or Sangha in your hand and to flip the skill. Okay. Uh, you can normal summon one level 7 monsters for one less tribute, sure. You can tribute summon one level 7 monster face up in addition to your normal summoner set, okay. So it lets you essentially normal summon something plus normal summon yeah. your piece on top of it. Yeah. Your opponent takes no effect damage. Good, get combo with burn. Um, <laughs> you can only attack with one monster each turn, but that monster can make a second attack on monsters during each battle phase. That's not awful i mean it's just it's like sangha turbo essentially yeah basically i don't i don't think this is good but i don't hate it i, I think don't it i don't hate it either to play around with this feels like one of those things that's gonna get broken but not for the reason that they want it to be I'm, this feels like yeah. something where it's going to be used not the way that they intended. Like, you do have to reveal specifically a Gate Guardian one of the pieces, so you have to have that in your deck. This My feels like someone is going to use it for something that is not the way they want it to be used. Is, is this where you finally play tunes? I don't know. Ursus, get on it if you're watching. All right. <laughs> uh, Jin skill, go! Heroes Unite Fusion! Surely this is it. Yes. Activate the skill during your main phase. Discard a card, then fusion. Oh my god, it's fusion party again. You have to discard a card. Hooray. Fusion summon an elemental hero fusion monster from your extra deck using monster from your hand or field as fusion material. If summoning elemental hero fusion this way that requires three or more materials, and you control two elemental hero monsters that are mentioned on it as materials, you can also use monsters in your deck as fusion materials unless it once per duel. What a god awful skill. Why? I see you, face bombing. This is. So bad. All right, so the first part is literally just Fusion Party for E-Heroes. 
yep. discard a card, and then it's just polymerization. It's literally fusion party. The second part is what makes it specific to elemental heroes, but only that require three or more materials, which is what? Electrum, exactly? Do Electrum and... Yeah, yeah. No, Tempest. Tempest is also three, Tempest. right? Yes, Tempest. So Tempest or Electrum. But then if you're using... If you control, so not in your hand, already on your field, which is the bad vanilla e-heroes that are mentioned on materials, you can get the third one from your deck. Uh, that's so bad. I just, I don't I mean, even want to talk about it. Well, technically, you can get all three from your deck, the way that it's worded. Wait, what? It doesn't say you have to use the ones that are on the field. Yeah. So technically, if you control two that are listed, you could fuse all three from your deck. Which would give you three monsters in play. The two normal E-heroes plus the fusion. Yeah, but this is forcing you to play all the bad E-heroes, so therefore yeah, it's bad. Yeah, this is really bad. Surely the next Jaden one is uh, Miracle Fusion. Hero oh. World! Oh boy. Once per turn, if you control a hero normal monster or a hero fusion monster, well, that's the part you would probably do. You can discard one card to activate one of these skills based on the attribute of that monster. Earth. Destroy one Earth monster you control and one monster your opponent controls. Meh. Wind, destroy one face up spell or trap card on the field. Yeah, take that nightmare wheel. Um, fire, return all face up non fire special turn monsters on the field to the hand. That's interesting, considering that Noble Master. Potentially very interesting. Yeah, based on, I mean, it just depends that's on what the meta is. is. Yeah. That's you could good. bounce a lot of monsters. Water, draw one card, also until the end of the next turn. You can activate one normal trap card from your hand. Hello? I don't like this. I don't like this. We banned Maki or other structure for a long time for a reason. Um, so well, I mean, there was more reason than just literally its own effect, but still. So uh, the water my... would be like Bubble Man? Yeah, sort of. What was, the, was there one more? Light. Ah, uh, light. Uh, change the battle position to one face of monster on the field. Yeah. This so, feels like you could very easily use this just very specifically for the fire effect. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like, this, the Nova Master like, that could use Nova this. Nova Master Turbo? Yeah. You could use it. Like, yeah, you don't get the Destroy a Battle Draw card, but just get to swing in because you returned your opponent's monster to their hand. Seems really good. Yep. So if your opponent has anything that's special summon, whether mm -hmm. that's their boss monster... Uh -huh. Or something that they floated into, right? Because that's a special summon. Yeah, this is actually insane because this deck or this box is focusing on like special summoning Gate Guardian, right? Special summoning your yeah. your Jumbo Drill, special summon your Water Dragon, whatever. And then you're just like, cool. Return to hand. Yeah. And even for like okay. Water Dragon Cluster, you can't chain its effect. That's this is the only thing that Water Dragon Cluster can't dodge. Right. So you like would have to chain cluster to me summoning Nova Master, at which point who cares? Now I'm just bouncing both your water dragons. Right? Yeah. Like so, which maybe is fine. Right. Because maybe you can get it back, but oh that's wow. Yeah. That fire effect is potentially stupid. Yeah, the fire effect is actually just potentially insane. The rest are like I mean, look, the, the water me. isn't terrible. The issue is we yeah, don't have a good cool. water card, right? Yeah. Um, Mariner. Uh huh. <laughs> Wait, All right. hold, okay. All right. Hold on. No. So, no, 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 Mariner. No, no, no. You don't even need Nova Master. You Blaze just Man. need Blaze Man. Yeah. Wait, that got so much better. Yeah, no, I think that's actually really good. You don't. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, like, I, I'm, already, I'm already past that because I'm already saying that fire part is insane. I'm trying to figure out water now. So water, if Mariner can attack your opponent directly, right, for 1400, and then on their turn, you don't have to worry about destruction. You can activate, like, a Wabaku or a Widespread or something from your hand to okay. protect it. I could see it. That's... That's not bad. Like, you can actually run traps that are not worried about being cosmic. It's also once per turn. So there might be some yeah. merit to like running Blaze Man and Mer Mariner, right? So you can use both the fire and water skills. It's actually is it, kind of is interesting. The skill is once per turn or each effect is once per turn? Once per turn, you control a normal fusion yeah. monster. The skill is once per turn. The so skill you can't is do once per turn. Uh, right, right. But like I'm saying like on different turns, just based on, you know, if you normal summon the Blaze Man, you can use the fire skill if you need to. If you don't, you can wait till you fusion summon your Mariner. Right. So there's, there's things to do here, right? It's might not suck. Like, I am disappointed because looking at the rest of them, it does not look like we got a Miracle Fusion skill, so right. that sucks. But this actually... This feels like there's potential here. This does, for sure. Alright. 
Let's build Nolan Master Turbo soon. Anyway, uh, Paradox Brothers again. Go. All right. I got, hey, I got one of the three Paradox Brothers skills. Woo. Yeah. All right, Elements of Thunder, Water, and Wind. Activate the skill while your life points are 1,000 or less. Oh, boy. You can normal summon Suijin, Kazujin, and Sock of the Thunder without tributing this turn. Or if you control all three, you can apply the effect instead. Send as many cards in the field as possible to the graveyard. Then special summon a Gate Guardian from your deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. Yeah, it's that. Bad. Okay, by itself, that effect is insane, but the odds of pulling that off consistently are next to none. Yep, it's bad. Because even if there was no life point requirement, just getting all three of Suijin, Sangha, and Kazujin on the field without the help of one of those other skills is never going to happen. You're never going to have all three in play. But then also you have to have a thousand or less life points. Yep. So, uh, yeah, that's... This is, this is, like, for double-up format, right? Like, this this skill just doesn't this, do this, anything. Yeah, this skill mm -hmm. has to combine with one of the other ones. Yeah, this is double-up format skill. All right, uh, this yeah, is... Boy, Ch Chumley. So, some of you wanted this. Uh, Chumley. Chillin' out back. Oh, yeah, there's the Australian thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Once per turn, you can change one face of Koala or Kangaroo, because we have the Kangaroo card from Battle City Box. Yeah, yeah. Monsters battle position, koala and kangaroo monsters you control cannot attack while in face up defense and position. Attack. Oh, can't, sorry. Of course they cannot. That would be normal rules. Uh, they can <laughs> attack while in face up defense. And if they do, apply their death for damage calc. So, I mean, eh. I mean, yeah, I don't think it's like competitive, but like it's interesting. It's, it's I mean, funny. Especially if, like Des Kangaroo wants to be in defense position, right? Like Des Koala has more defense. Yeah, it's it's cute. It's funny. We'll see if it actually uh He's chilling out in the Australian schoolyard. <laughs> it's really you though. Uh all right. Uh I'm uh, seeing the art. I am excited for this next one. Gimme, gimme, gimme. <gasps> it's literally just called Power Bond. Oh my god, yes. All right, so you do have to discard a card, because of course you do. But you know what? For power bond on demand, I will accept a discard cost. Me too. Poly on demand, no. Power bond on demand, yes. Fusion summon a fusion. Please tell me there's no stupid restrictions on this shit. Uh, fusion summon a machine. Fusion for extra deck using monster hand field, and then it gains Taku's original attack. Uh, but it cannot attack your opponent directly this turn. Okay, that's not on power bond normally, right? No, it's not. Okay. During the end phase. All right. Uh, you know that's not even bad. It's it's, it's not terrible. Most power bond. It's it's, it's got one, a discard. It's one. It can't attack directly. But that's that's not too bad. It's one restriction. It's power yeah. bond. You never have to draw it. any card in your deck because the discard is power bond essentially. Right. Right? Um, and the only thing is you can't attack directly. But if you summon a strong enough monster, it doesn't matter because you can just go ahead and run over their monster for game. Yeah, like, you know, Cyber and Dragon. Exactly. No, no, that's, it. that's exactly it. Because they didn't give a Cyber Twin, so Cyber and Dragon, yeah. That's it. I mean, 8,000 attack piercing Cyber and Dragon, you, you're you probably winning the game if that attack goes through, so... Yep. So, yeah. Yeah, even over an attack position moth, that's still game. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, it is. So, yeah. Uh, it also pierces, so Cyber and Dragon wins the game regardless. Yeah, you know what? I I don't hate this. I don't hate this either. This and is honestly, cute. Like people were worried, well, Power Bomb might be too strong. So the fact that it can't attack directly, maybe that's even like a good restriction to have on it, since it is on demand, since you don't have to draw it as a card. Right. Yeah, this yeah. actually seems really reasonable to me. I was worried. I'm like, they gave us Power Bond. Oh God, what did they do to make it unplayable? Like they did with Ancient Gear Fusion, right? Right. But because they made because you know they made Ancient Gear Fusion completely unplayable. This seems playable to me. This does seem playable. I I like this. The only issue would be like having drawing three cyber dragons, but I'm sure we could figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I like this. This is cool. All right. Uh this looks good too. Mega, right. uh, we, said, we said they had to have Megaroid City as a skill. All right, let's go for it. Yes. What do you got? Small Roid Big City, of course. Uh once returned, you can target one face up card you control, destroy it, face up. So does not combo with Wonder Garage. Because, uh, okay, so they did change it from Megaroid City's actual effect. Okay. Yes. And if you do add an Android card from your deck to your hand, we once you return... search the trap, by the way. Yes, you can. That's really good. Uh, once return, when an attack is declared among <laughs> all its monster, and a Roid monster you can turn, you can send one Roid monster from your deck to the graveyard. That's good. So if you foolish burial, and then you switch your original attack and death. Yeah. So that that part's the same. That's good. So yeah, so uh, I, I don't know. remember Megaroid City's original text. Did Megaroid City say between an opponent's monster and Roid monster you control, or just a Roid monster you control? I we were talking about this with submarine Roid, and this does not work with submarine Roid attacking directly. Yes, it does not. Uh, I think that might that might be a nerf. Yeah. Okay. So interesting. So cool. 
Uh, no, yeah, I like can it. only pop face up. So yeah, it does not combo with Wonder Garage. So you can't combo with Wonder Garage or like Wild Tornado, but you can still, I'm sure, combo it with something. I don't know what. I can't think off the top of my head like what face up card you'd like destroying, but you know. You invoke. Sorry, wrong, wrong game. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want to take the next one since we're just doing you're doing Cyrus stuff. I, I kind of want to finish the bash. Ah, fine, fine. All right, the roids are all right, are they now? Uh, <laughs> Vehicle connection zone can be used to fusion summon any roid monsters from your extra deck. All roid monsters whose original level is six or lower can be normal summon set without tributing. Hey, hey, that's actually interesting. Yeah. Okay. If a non-fusion void monster gains an I mean, attacks an opponent's monster, it gains, I was skipping ahead, gains attack equal to its level times 100 during damage step only. If you control a machine, non-machine monster, flip this card over. Okay. I like it. You too. What, um, what is the first part for? What roid? It can summon Necroid Shaman! <laughs> <laughs> Yes. The I was trying to figure it out. I'm like, what roid monster can via card connection zone not already summon? <laughs> this joke has gone too far. Clearly, Am I wrong? Is that no, not you're not. The only one? You're not. No, that, that, I think that works. <laughs> oh my god, we did it. Alright, so we actually sort of called it in a weird roundabout way when we said that they were gonna make Necroid Shaman a Cyrus card. They did. They did it. Those clowns. <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll have to look at the Roid fusions again. Obviously, we're gonna do it off screen, but to see if like yeah. one of them has a restriction on it or something. I don't know if we're missing something, but if we're not, this is literally the Aqua Connection Zone can summon Necroid Shaman. Yeah, but it is, which is which is really funny. All right, the end. Here we go. All right. Under pressure. Activate this skill while you control Hios on Ryu. First off, whatever this skill says, and I haven't read it yet. I'm glad there is at least a skill for Hios on Ryu. I agree. Yeah. I'm glad there was something. All right, let's see. Uh, what's turn you can reveal the top four cards of your deck? Well, this is starting to sound familiar. Uh, then if any of the following monsters are revealed... Okay, it's different. Apply the appropriate skills in sequence and place reveal cards upon your deck in any order. Carboneton. One Hios on Ryu control gains 1,000 attack until the end of this turn. What's Hios on Ryu? 21? 21, so 31. Respectable. Okay. Uh, Hydrogeton. One Hios on Ryu controls unaffected by your opponent's monster effects until the end of this turn. Okay, so it can attack into a duty warrior lady, man-eater bug, etc. Yeah, respectable. Okay. Oxygeton. Destroy one face of monster reporting controls and inflict 800 damage to your opponent. Interesting. Oh, I like the Oxygen on one. Yeah. I That's, really like the Oxygen on skill. It's not bad. And, like, if you happen to reveal all three of these, you get all three. It's yeah. not, oh, you don't, you, for whatever you reveal, you get that effect. That's, that's not, that's So, that's, hypothetically, if you reveal all three, you have a 3100 attack, Hayao Zanryu, that is unaffected by your opponent's monster effect, and you destroy it in a face up monster opponent controls and inflict 800 damage to them, potentially uh, attacking for game. Well, they did this I very. Said, they, they, were, more they were more. They were very cute. Just, That's right. Yes, it's thirty nine hundred damage in that. They case. were very. Yeah, it's very cute. It was thirty one hundred plus eight hundred. I, I um, see Konami. It's very cute. All right. All right. Here's here's the problem that I have with this. Mm. You still have to summon Hios on Ryu. Well, Carbonet on is already in your deck. Don't worry about uh, it. That's true. Don't worry about okay, it. so we have Carbonet, but he Hydrogen and Oxygen have no synergy. With his honor. This is the skill you play with Water Dragon, right? No. You play the other skill. No, you play this one. Trust. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna press X to doubt on that one. Trust. Uh, trust. Uh, <laughs> Just trust. Yeah. yeah de definitely press an X to doubt there. Trust. Um, trust. Yeah. So that's the problem. the The effects are cool, and I'm glad he was on Ryu has a skill at all. Mm -hmm. I ultimately don't think this is great. Um, but if you want to play his Unreal, if nothing else, like, but here's the problem too. If you carbon add on to summon it, that's one less carbon add on in your deck. So yeah. it's that much less likely that you're getting that effect to make it have respectable attack points. And Hydrogen and Oxygen on have no synergy with you as Unreal. That is one less carbon add on, but it's not like. There's there's two more, there sure, and you reveal more. the top four cards in your deck, so it doesn't right, have to be on right. top. It's but... yeah, it's not it's not you know you're not you're not yeah the, the attack points. Ultimately, I don't I don't think this is like good or competitive, but it's neat. It's yeah, it's I think cute. It's cool that it exists. Yeah, but um, okay. So thoughts on the skills? Um, I like 
I like the first Bastion skill as long as it works the way it should. Which, which is, what do you mean? You should be able to add a counter even if you don't resolve the effect. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my big question. And right. here's what I hate about speed duels. That's my big question. How are we going to get the answer to it? By us as a community deciding how we're going to rule it. That's that's how. Because yeah. Konami ain't going to give us any official rulings. There's no official simulator we can go test it on to see how it works. Nope. We're just going to have to rely on our judges, and we do have some good judges in the community, don't get me wrong, but we're going to have to rely on our judges to tell us for sure. Right. All right. And, um, and then... I, I like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. What, what was the... There was, like, one Paradox Brothers skill that was, like, neat. I think it was... was like, I don't remember which one. Well, yeah, uh, this, this one, this one. Oh, this yeah, one's... yeah, yeah, yeah. Beware the Brothers Paradox. That, this one's actually kind of interesting. Uh, then the Jane, the, the fire, the fire yeah. skill here is, is yes. All right, we have a hero lives. We have Nova Master. We have Blaze Man. We have this skill. There's there there's something there. I I trust you to come up with something. I, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely put a good effort into it. We'll see if it actually happens. Yeah, um, uh, I, I think there's something there. Uh, obviously, Power Bond is very exciting. Yes, Power Bond is exciting. I actually think both the Roid skills are exciting too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't wait to view a connection zone and Necro Shaman. I agree. <laughs> yes. No, but really, it's 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 the fact that you yeah. just summon the Roid monsters, right? You just drop yeah. the, the level yeah, six that, ones. That is interesting. I mean, so it's weird, right? Uh, Lucky is giving his input. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's interesting because, like, yes, some of the Roids are, like, level five or higher. That probably shouldn't be. So this helps correct that. Yeah. But then they're still kind of bad anyway. Yeah. So I'm not sure. We'll see. It's yeah, it, it, it could be something. Like the the point is that this the skill being this at least lets you go, hmm, I could try it. Whereas normally yeah. right. with Roids which, you'd be like, no. <laughs> yeah, which for Roids is like all we can ask for. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, um, Mega Roid City, the Mega City one's probably small what is it called? Small, small Roid, Roid Big, Big City. So the, the Cyrus cards are references here, which is kind of funny. Um, um like I think that one's got more potential to it just because Mega Roid City is like Right. And, and, you just have like, to figure out what to destroy, I think, is the big one. It's a searchable Omni Negate. Like, surely there is something there. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, it's a yeah. matter of figuring out what to do with, with uh, either one of these skills and, and see if it works. And Power Bond, honestly, right? Um, under Pressure, I actually think it's got some amount of potential, too. So, do it's... You, uh, do, we'll do, you know, do you know why it's called Under Pressure? Is he was on Ryu's Attack, Under Pressure Attack, or something? No. I don't know. Why? It's because it, it's the diamond-based dragon, and you get diamonds by putting pieces of coal under pressure. Wow. Good job, Konami. Well, I actually I think the name of the skill is really good. Wait, like, wait. I think they did a great job with the name of that skill. Chemistry in motion is like kind of a pun reference, right? Poetry yeah, in motion, poetry, right? Yeah, exactly. So like that's cool. Uh, uh, Behold Gay Guardian is just what it is. Uh, Believe, Believe in Bro is what it is. Very terrible. Do you wear the Brothers Paradoxes? I, I hate Heroes Unite Fusion so much. Yeah, me too. Uh, Hero World is just a name. Uh, oh, hold on. Back to Heroes Unite. What? So you still have to play Polly. No. No, you don't. No. No. Okay. So here's the thing. Yes. Here's the thing. I might have undersold this skill, now that I think about it. Okay, how? Normal summon an e or a hero lives first. Mm-hmm. And normal summon whatever... Then this skill is live to let you use three materials from your deck. Oh. That's so interesting. So, actually, I might have undersold this skill at first. That is now actually, that yeah, no, that's actually very interesting. This might not be the garbage I thought it was. No, it might not be. Because Hero Lives not only gives you the first monster, but it's you're theoretically using it to summon Blaze Man, which also searches you a card. Right? Which is your discard card. You just discard Polly. Because why not? Um, no, I, I don't think it's bad anymore either. Yeah. No, now that I'm thinking about it, the it is... If you are interpreting it correctly card. and you can actually use all three materials from deck. You, you sh all right, let's read this again. Let's be sure. If summoning Elemental Hero Fusion this way that requires three or more materials and you control two Elemental Hero monsters that are mentioned on it as materials... You can also use monsters in your deck as fusion material. Yeah. I, until someone tells me otherwise, and like, look, if I'm wrong, I'm sure I'll find out. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. this definitely reads to me as you 
as long as you control those two that are listed on the fusion monster you're trying to summon, you can, in addition to being able to use materials from your hand and field, you can now also use materials from your deck. Which yeah. means you can use all three from your deck. Okay. All right. I mean, if it works that way, then it's not dead. So that's yeah. good. Yeah. I, is it going to be competitive? I don't know yet, but like... It's not dead. It, I, I thought it was just trash at first, but now I'm thinking about it specifically because we have a hero lives is what makes it play. We, we, call, we got e-call too, did we not? No. Oh, all right. Just kidding. Um, never mind. That sucks, but we have one Rota. <laughs> we have one Rota. Yeah, sure. Oh, actually, yeah. I'm surprised we didn't get e-call because that was our... Yeah, that was our prediction. Whatever. I wrote limited one. Yeah. It was because of getting e-call. Yeah, no, we didn't. Uh, this one is fine. No, it's terrible. No, it's ter yeah, just kidding. It's terrible. Uh, Chumley's is cute. We'll see if it gets anywhere. Uh, we already talked about it at the I end. So, yeah. not, honestly, if, if Des Kangaroo and Des Koala are good, then we have a problem. Right. Agreed. But uh, overall thoughts? Uh, um, I'm playing Water Dragon. Agreed. Uh, okay, so overall thoughts are a hero lives, has gives heroes some potential, plus the fire skill, right? Um, yes. Megaroid yeah, City being a card gives yeah, potential. True. Yeah. 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 Um, Power Bond has potential. Yes. That's all I can say for Cyrus, really. Yeah. Um, for Bastion, obviously, Water Dragon is insane. Yeah, uh, I'm so excited. I, I like... I mean, you saw me. I freaked out when, they, when I saw that we actually got every single card for Water I am, Dragon. I am actually predicting Water Dragon is going to be Tier 1. Uh, I am like, I am ready. Whether it's... All right, I will tell you this. If right it's at all playable, I am playing it. Like, it doesn't no. even have to be Tier 1. I am playing it. No, 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 it. no, no. Write that, probably... write that shit down. <laughs> <laughs> Water Dragon is going to be Tier 1. If I'm wrong, I am... I'm duelist enough to admit it, all right? But write that shit down right now. I'm ready. I'm um, so ready. Uh, Heroes on Ryu actually has been potential to not be like tier one, but like cute, right? At least I, I like, think I, I think rogue, like potentially. Yeah. Like at I, least I don't something that, but like maybe rogue. Yeah. It's at least something you can have fun with, which I think is the point. Yeah. yeah. Um and then uh, for Paradox Brothers, I'm excited to play clowns, even though it's probably not going to win anything. But it's just it's clowns, and I am clown, so we have to do it. I am I am glad that they did not give us like stumbling like we were talking about. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Labyrinth of Nightmare is still kind of an annoying card to play against. It's not it like is. OP, but like it's kind of an annoying card it to is play annoying. against. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. The meme value of it is extremely high. How excited I am to actually see it come in, uh, maybe is lower, but... Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Look, I am excited to try the two uh, Chaos. I don't know if you can call them Chaos. What do you call, like, non-Dark Light Chaos? Whatever. Uh, the two... The, the, the Flame Dragon is interesting to me. The, yes. the the other one is just awkward because it's Fire and Wind. Yeah. I'm not sure what you we'll see. do with that. Um, but it is an interesting card. Frost and Flame Dragon is interesting. I actually have no idea what the purpose of the kaiju is i'm thinking about that one now <laughs> the purpose uh, of the kaiju is to give you the fire monster in your wind deck clown uh, uh, yeah true i mean so there is the point where like if you run three of them if you if you give your opponent one then you can special summon one from your hand mm -hmm. so like mm -hmm. if you have some way of doing something with that but you that requires you to have two in hand obviously but like right right so yeah, yeah. No, we'll, we'll see. So, I mean, I, I, I like that there's definitely a lot to play around with, at least. Uh, one deck that looks like it's guaranteed going to be a meta contender right away. Um, and then other stuff for everyone to build and test. And uh, speaking of, if the vote we're holding on the Discord as of this recording goes the way that Justice certainly voted for, I am not voting because I am the host of the tournament, um, then we will actually have a tournament for this very soon. So uh, we'll yeah, see what happens. See. However, the next video is going to be the third episode of the podcast where we're going to go even more in depth on all of this. Yes. So um, stay tuned for that because that won't be just us. We'll have Drake and hopefully Curse of this time join us as well. So uh, look forward to that. And if you have watched this long, because damn, it's been a long video. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> but trust me, we had to wait a lot longer to do this. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, it was worth it. Uh, I'm really excited for the podcast now, honestly. I'm really excited to talk with everybody about yeah. this. Yeah, me too, me too. So, uh, there, all right. There's there's some cool stuff in here. There's there's a lot of reprints, a lot mm. of stuff that we're not excited about, but yeah. I, I will say I think there's a little bit more to be excited about here than I, I was I think expecting. The, the, way, the way it went, like, 
when we saw Hero Lives, our excitement like went really high. <laughs> And then it kind of yeah. just like died looking at Jaden and Cyrus's decks, but right. then it just went like even higher for looking at Bastion's deck. Yeah. Well, that's all Bastion's. So I was like, all right, this box is success, baby. Yes. There you go. And then, I, and then I basically just like died laughing looking at the Terradon. <laughs> but but yeah, no, there's uh, it's it's definitely exciting. Uh, it's not like everything it could have been, but it's much. I think it's much better than a GX box. Yeah, it honestly, it, it, despite being a smaller box, actually looks to have more interesting stuff which so, yeah, like no, I, right yeah if we can go in this direction but we'll talk about this on the podcast um but yeah uh we're gonna end this video now because it's been an hour 20 so uh that i'm just gonna do it terra master uh, and justice if, uh, if, if you if you have watched this long if you've watched to the end uh let us know you're a real fan uh oh, oh. uh you are gonna comment what give them something to comment with uh c- comment um clowns confirmed there you go okay there you go all right uh so comment that, that we called it the clowns are confirmed that's right that's right yes all right, all right thank you all uh yep really appreciated and yeah this is very very exciting go ahead terror master all right uh yeah no that's it uh we'll see you guys for the podcast until then terror master and justice we are out